Alright YouTube, um, just here to show you guys how to connect your M-Audio Key Studio to your computer. Okay. Um, so if you guys have one of these, you'll notice that they are USB powered, which is this right here. Okay. Just plug it right in there. You got your on off switch, which as you can see controls the lights. Okay. Try not to hit the tripod here. And then you have your sustain pedal input. Okay? So then we just pop this back in here. I love this little slide. It's kind of nice. Um, so to connect this to your computer, um, you just take that USB cable I showed you and plug it into a USB slot um, on your computer. But that's not enough. You need to have speakers set up on your computer to hear sound and you need to have some kind of synthesizer software on your computer as well. Now I'm going to attempt to show you um, as best I can with this camera how um, to connect it using ZYN add sub effects. So bear with me here. Let me show this real quick. Alright. So it may be kind of hard to see. But this is applications. Okay, so I'm running Ubuntu. Um, go down to multimedia, and first I like to open ZYN Add Sub Effects Software Synthesizer. Now you could use anything you want, GarageBand or you know what have you. Um, you could use Sessions, which is another M Audio um, program that actually I have for my Windows machines. So as you can see, we have ZYN Add, uh, add Sub Effects here. Now. I can sit here and jam away on the keys. You guys can hear that. It does absolutely nothing. Okay. Um, you need to open up Jack, which is a audio um, server for Ubuntu, um, and I run through ALS ALSA, which is right here. Okay. Right in this area. So you click it, and you'll see this line right here says Key Studio. Click it once. It'll highlight over here. It says ZYN add sub effects. Click it once. Come down here. And click connect. And you saw that line drawn right there. It's showing that it's now connected. Now, when I tap away on my keys, and I don't have any latency issues. Um, let me show you guys here. Set back up. Make sure you guys can see everything. Okay. Um, I don't have any latency issues um, with this. Um, so, I mean, as soon as I hit the keys, it's producing the sound. You know. So, we can change the sound. Um, we'll do my full square that I like so much. Just something very easy to do. Um, it's a lot of fun. You can change the sounds however you want to, but you know it's great because with Linux, you know you don't really have latency issues. You can have a real-time um, image on here for your operating system, so that you know you can run it with less latency when you're using like Linux Music Studio or something like that or Ubuntu Studio. Um, I'm running. A uh, really crappy, you know, Windows 95 computer, and it's got no latency, so it's great. But that's, you know, pretty much how you connect your keyboard to the computer. I mean, just plug it in, open up your favorite software, um, make sure that you can find the connection or the MIDI controller, which is what this is, um, with that software, and be able to connect it to it so that you can play. So, we can do anything now that we got it connected. You know, so whatever you guys want to do, but that's pretty much how you set it up. Just remember, plug it in, 
have your speakers set up and ready to go through your computer and open up your favorite software synth and start jamming away once you get it connected. Um, it's a lot of fun and I hope you guys enjoyed.